Most people treat AI video generators like a lottery. They just generate and regenerate and hope to get the best result. But what if you could actually control these tools? What if you could tell them precisely what camera movement you want and achieve it? Well, that's exactly what this video is about, as I teach you how to turn the guessing game into a tool you command. And that command is essential if you want to use AI image or video in any commercial or creative context. And so to help give you that command, I'm gonna show you how to go from any single starting image and turn that into any camera angle you want using AI tools like Nano Banana Pro. Now, the most important step of this process has to be generating the first frame, which is the main image we're going to use to generate all the other images. In this image, we are specifically looking to generate our character and the environment that the character is in. You can use any image generator to generate the specific main first image. For this specific image, I use the Nano Banana Pro image generator from Google, and I got a really nice result like this. Now, let me show you what you need to look out for in your main first image. Mainly, the things you need to generate in this image are the face of the character. Make sure that the whole face of the character is visible in your generated images. You also need to generate the clothing of the character, like what this elf character is wearing. Additionally, you need to mention the environment the character is in. For this specific image generation, I mentioned a forest, and the AI model generated a forest here. The forest looks really nice. The image generation of this elf character in this forest was really nice. After you have generated your main image, we are going to come into Google Flow. Flow is an official website from Google, and right now, we can use the Nano Banana Pro AI model here without any watermarks. This is the website I like the most to generate and edit images with Nano Banana Pro. After coming here, you can upload your generated image or just choose an image that you have generated here with Nano Banana Pro, like I have done. Just click the Add to Prompt button, and the AI model is automatically going to add your image to be edited in the prompt box. Let me show you how I was able to generate all these camera angles from this single image. For the first camera angle, I asked the AI model to create an extreme close-up tightly framing the character's face, showing detailed emotional expression. From that specific prompt, the Nano Banana Pro AI model generated this specific image. This image looks really good, and it was able to keep the character consistent with our original image. That is the best thing with the Nano Banana Pro AI model. You don't need to worry about keeping your character consistent. You just tell the AI model to edit something in the image or to generate a new image, and the AI model is automatically going to be able to do that while keeping the character completely consistent. In this image, Nano Banana Pro generated some really good skin textures, which make the image feel very natural. Overall, I really like this image. The second camera angle that I generated was a full body shot from head to toe of the girl running in profile through the environment. From that specific prompt, the AI model was able to generate an image like this. In this specific image, the elf girl seems to be running through the forest as we asked, because the forest is the environment of the character. The shot covers the whole character from the foot to the head, which is exactly what I asked for in my prompt. The AI model also made sure the elf character is holding a bow and some arrows while she is running through the forest. This is just an amazing bit of detail that Nano Banana Pro has added to the image. I have carefully made the prompts so that you can basically use them on any character. These prompts are very general, so you can just copy them from this YouTube video and use them in your own camera angle generations. Another camera angle shot that I created of this specific character is the low angle camera shot. This type of camera angle is used specifically when you want to make the character look strong and powerful. From this perspective, the viewer will perceive the character as very huge, which gives the character a little bit of authority. This is a camera angle I specifically use when I want my characters to look powerful compared to the viewer. This scene also makes the viewer catch the vastness of the environment, like how big the forest is. This is a really nice camera angle that I like to use in my AI films. Also, then I generated this high camera angle shot of this character. I use this camera angle mainly for my product commercials, like a commercial for a luxury water bottle or something like that. I mainly don't use this camera angle on my human-like characters because there is actually no need for these types of camera angles in AI films, as far as I am concerned. However, I am showing you this camera angle because I think you should know about it for your product animations. I also created another wide shot 
where we are able to see the character from head to toe, and it generated an image like this. This image also looks really nice. The AI model slightly zoomed out of this image to show us the whole forest and the whole character. I mainly use this prompt again to see whether the Nano Banana Pro AI model can remember the character throughout all these images. This specific head-to-toe picture of the character is pretty consistent with the previous head-to-toe picture, so Nano Banana can actually remember the images that it was generating. Let me show you some of the other camera angles that you can generate with Nano Banana Pro here. I am just going to add this shot again to my prompt box. And from here, I'm going to write this really small prompt called bird's eye view. Another thing that I like about the Nano Banana Pro AI model is that you don't need to give it a detailed prompt at all. You just need to mention the bare minimum. Even from that very small prompt, the Nano Banana Pro AI model is going to be able to generate a really nice image featuring anything that you want. This works especially well with camera angles. You just need to remember the names of the camera angles, like the bird's eye view, high angle shot, and low angle shot. As you can see, the AI model was able to generate the bird's eye view really well. In actuality, this is what a bird's eye view camera angle looks like. Now that we have generated all of the camera angles that we need for this specific video, we can use the add to prompt button again. Click on the frames to video section from here to generate videos with the VO 3.1 model directly in Google Flow. I am going to add the running shot here and use the frames to video feature to generate a video from this specific image using the VO 3.1 model. If you don't want to use the VO 3.1 model here, you can just download the images by clicking on the download button and then use another AI model that you like to generate videos with, like the new Kling 2.6 model, which I think can generate really nice videos from images. However, for this specific tutorial, I'm just going to use the VO 3.1 AI model. Let's give the VO 3.1 AI model a prompt, like create a video of this character running. It has generated a really good video of this character running. Another feature that you can use here is the first frame to last frame feature. Basically, you are going to add an image as the starting frame of your video and add another image as the end frame of your video here. Then give the model a simple prompt like animate. It is going to start to generate a video using the first frame and last frame feature. This is a really good way to creatively control the animations that you get from your images. As you can see, this is the video that the AI model had generated from our first frame and last frame. This video, honestly, looks really good with controlled camera movement. So, that's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.